According to the instructions, you position the rack under the top of the bed an inch and three quarter from the end of the waist. Mark the locations using a drill bit, the largest drill bit that'll fit through the screw holes. And once that's done, we're ready to drill. Well, I got the holes drilled. Won't tell you how painful that was on that little drill press. Tapped the holes and mounted the rack. With the bed upside down on my work table, about foot hanging off so I could mount the carriage, I just uh, snugged up the socket head screws and then adjusted the set screws to allow the carriage to move freely and smoothly. Here's the back side of the apron showing the half nut. After flipping the bed and making sure that the carriage had free travel all along the length of it, I installed the apron, leaving the mounting screws a little loose till I was ready to position the lead screw. With the lead screw precariously balanced in the half nut, I then put in or put on <laughs> the lead screw bushings on each end and was ready to position them. After roughly positioning the bushings at either end and tightening the screws on the apron, I began the tedious process of aligning the bushings accurately ended up running the carriage back and forth probably at least 30 times before I was finally satisfied with the position. Using the largest drill bit that would fit through the bushing mounting hole, I dimpled the location of the lower hole of the left hand lead screw bushing, removed the carriage, put it up on my drill press, drilled and tapped the hole, and then had to repeat the alignment process for every individual hole. Well, I just spent the last two hours fighting to get the two lead screw bushings uh, position drill the holes drilled tapped and where everything turns freely I now understand why the instruction said to tap drill and tap one hole at a time these holes back here well, you can't really see them very well, but the tap, the drill is about halfway into this wall. So even using my drill press, which was a pain to get it lined up also, uh, the drill wanted to curve off, the drill bit wanted to curve off into the open area instead of cutting through here uh, but it's there it turns smoothly at both ends traverse this down here lock that well you can't see it see the handle moving but let me get it back down on the rack there we go. Uh, well, I'm almost there. I still got a 
I found out that I do have to drill and tap a hole for the chain screw. Uh, I did go ahead. Oops, don't want to lose that. Uh, I did. I don't know if you can see it real clearly, but I described the arc and the position based on my old lathe as according to the destructions but one step closer well I can't put my lathe up in a drill press this time my drill press is too small <laughs> so I made me a little uh, drill guide uh, Hope it keeps it straight. Got a nice little mountain of cast iron shavings. And it looks pretty straight. So now I get to tap it and see how it turns out. So I tapped the hole using a tapping guide to keep it square. Then installed the change gear mounting nut, check the travel of the change gears, make sure that it floated freely on the mounting stud, then installed the headstock to see how everything fit. Well, I think I'm going to call that a successful alignment. Look at them gear spin.